I think some, something we're, we're addressing and we're focused on. Um, obviously, the, the ability is there with the, the quality we have on our hockey team. Um, so I think, we, you know, we just want to try to find ways uh, to break the opponent down, getting off the wall a little bit more, um, you know, finding ways uh, uh, to create a little bit more motion and getting into the interior side of the ice and uh, just winning some of those battles in those key areas uh, to get quality looks and then just finishing plays off when we, when we get our opportunities. So um, overall, so far, I think we've built a really good foundation in the way we want to play and uh, how we want to be connected and structured uh, throughout all three zones. Uh, and the things we're doing away from the puck. So I think uh, we're doing a really good job of just, uh, uh, you know, finding our way as a group to uh, balance, um, making sure that uh, uh, we're a strong team defensively and, and we're tough to play against, but we still want to be dynamic and create an offense and making it tough on the opponent and, and obviously getting production um, at even strength. Thanks. Next up, we'll go to Mark Masters, TSN. Go ahead, Mark. John, how, how do you assess the chemistry between you and Williams so far to start the season? Is it, is it kind of the same stuff you were just talking about? Like, how have you guys – or how have you felt when you guys have been out there at even strength? Yeah, I think we uh, have, you know, had some good opportunities uh, and at times just probably just haven't uh, um, capitalized on some of our opportunities. And I think there's just still a lot of areas and room for growth. I think we, we feel we can still be a lot better – be a lot more productive, um, but doing a lot of good things, a lot of th little things that uh, you hope over time uh, will pay off and, and uh, keeping up those habits and, and building um, that type of confidence, I think, uh, not just with the puck, but without it. So um, even though we're in a shortened season, there's still a lot of games, a lot of hockey to be played. So just staying the course and, and continuing every day to um, keep working at it and keep finding ways uh, uh, to be better. Well, both goalies have played really well for us. Um... You know, and I think we, we're doing a pretty good job at uh, keeping them to the outside. I mean, there's still obviously areas that we need to clean up. Um, but for the most part, we're stopping the cycle, um, you know, and trying to make quick exits. What's your perspective on uh, how Ilya Mikheyev helps the penalty kill and, and what he brings to the table in that area of the game? Yeah, he's um, – for one, his speed is – it, you know, is elite. So um, he's able to skate pucks out of trouble. He's able to force them. Uh, he gets his gaps up, um, you know, and he's learning uh, certain reads and he's getting better every day. So um, he, he's going to continue to get better at that for sure. Next up, we'll go with Danielle Emanuel, Leafs Nation Network. Go ahead, Danielle. Hey, Jake, um, 18 shots for you through a handful of games and already getting rewarded with a goal. Um, has there been a shift in your mindset this season, just a willingness to throw more pucks on net and just see what happens out there? I think the mindset's always been there. Um, whether or not I've executed maybe has changed a little bit. Um, but, uh, no, I'm going to continue um, trying to get pucks to the net when, when it's the right time. Um, you know, and, and, you know, luckily one bounced in last night, but, uh, the more pucks you throw, the better chance you, you, you got to get one. So, or, or helping the team get one. Um, so I think we all can continue with that as well. Getting better at that, getting more pucks to the net from the D. Yeah, just, uh, an update, first of all, uh, on Jack Campbell, uh, he's, he's got a leg injury. That's, it's going to keep him out for weeks here. Um, uh, so not days, but the weeks, uh, you're obviously going to monitor his recovery over that time. Uh, Joe Wall is on route here and uh, be awaiting the clearing protocols uh, to eventually join us as a, as the third goaltender here on our taxi squad. Michael Hutchison will back up tonight. And uh, in addition to that, the lineup changes are that uh, Miko Lettinen will go in for Travis Dermott today and uh, Travis Boyd and Joey Anderson will go in for Bear Bonoff and Spezza. Thanks, Sheldon. We'll jump right into questions here. First up is Mark Masters, TSN. Go ahead, Mark. Hi, Sheldon. Uh, how have you assessed the Tavares Nylander chemistry so far this season? How do you think maybe Mikheyev can complement those guys tonight? Well, I think the chemistry has been good, not just this season, but uh, last as well. Uh, I think, you know, we're they have been playing with VC and then things have been moving around a little bit since uh, we've started to deal with injuries. But uh, Bekeyev has played very well when he's played with uh, JT as well. Uh, lots of speed, 
I, I think uh, Mickey's been really good here for the last few games. It hasn't uh, resulted in uh, goals or points or anything like that here quite yet, but uh, he's been getting his opportunities. It's just a matter of time.